Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. It's a vlog. I'm heading out today. It's just a nice chill day. Um, I got some things done for my Etsy shop. And if you guys haven't checked it out, I'll leave that link down below. It's a bunch of natural products for basically anyone with sensitive skin and babies. So more products will be going up there really soon. I have a lot of exciting things coming um that i ordered today so i'm stoked i'm going home birth shopping and just preparing for that because right now i'm ending my 36th week what i've come to realize is that a lot of the stuff for home birth is already in your home and the cool part about it is if you don't have it already you can typically find these things at the dollar store or walmart um like any type of store that is a little bit cheaper that has like basic things i hope i get everything today because i really don't like going to walmart <laughs> i'm gonna be honest <laughs> i've just read so many scary stories lately we're not gonna get into that right now but i'm having a hard time trusting stores as a mom with children so i'm doing this alone today like days later i got most of what i need i think right now i think we're looking pretty good i want to make my bedroom the sanctuary of the apartment and i want our bathroom to be just like the place that i can kind of like ground myself and um that's my vision at least this week has been emotional i've been hit in my core with so many different feelings just different energy than the weeks prior and i think it's because i'm going to be having this baby really soon saying this out loud is kind of crazy because i don't know what the future holds i don't know i'm just speaking from my heart right now and kind of waking up to what i've been feeling in my heart and midwifery has been on my mind so much if you're following from back when i was posting about dual work um i have talked about it briefly in other videos and i've kind of just been in the same place of like maybe one day when i put dual work down about 10 months ago i also put this idea of midwifery down in the near future i would always say well maybe after my home birth maybe after my next child I'll be ready to make a decision. You know, some things are in the works. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just going with this feeling of still being called to birth work. It's a pretty scary but inspiring place to be because I haven't felt this fire. I haven't felt this since I put dual work down. So to feel it again is life-giving. So that's a little update. That's a little dual birth work update. I am right now going through my home birth items i'm going through some of the things i've gotten for my birth and this is a list that it was a pretty short list shorter than i expected but these are the things that i will like need um they don't include any of the extras i'm not getting a birth pool i really think that i will be having like a land birth i feel like this is a pretty consolidated list some things that like i didn't have on hand were shower curtains basically you just make your bed how you want it to be for like after you have your baby when you're ready to rest and go to sleep on top of those nice sheets you can put a couple shower curtains and we got two that are medium weight then on top of the medium weight ones we're gonna just put throwaway sheets and pillowcases we'll have that first layer that we could just throw off and dispose of and then the shower curtains there that we can also toss and then we'll have like our comfortable bed just waiting for us after the baby comes hefty bags <laughs> we're gonna have to throw some stuff away after the birth i also got a pack of 50 chucks pads i'm gonna order one more so we have 100 here it's good for all different stages and parts of the birth experience and afterward um they're good for to have on the ground during the birth itself 
they're good for labor itself especially if like the water has already broken and then also for postpartum healing um, a really good thing to do especially the fact that you can do this um, after a home birth is to just put some chucks pads on the bed and let yourself air out instead of like closing the area with a big pad right away um, air is really good for healing so I plan to do that a little bit TMI and it's just easier because like in the middle of the night if the pad moves you don't want to be waking up to that on your sheets also for those first couple weeks of newborn changes it's really convenient to have a chucks pad on the changing table even if you have like a wipe away changing table you can throw one of these on before changes especially in the middle of the night and then you could just like pick it up and throw it away and not have to like clean anything at 3 a.m what else do we have here guys we got some extra toilet paper just you know for regular reasons that we can imagine 18 pack of washcloths nobody told me to get 18 washcloths but it was just the pack that was there at wal at walmart and um it's always good to have like cool rags lying around that you could just kind of like use for anything but especially in labor if mom gets hot i know as a doula it's really refreshing to have a cold rag on the back of your neck or on your forehead so it's just good to have good to have a stack of these i got a bunch of regular size towels and like smaller hand towels um i think we got like seven or eight regular size and then probably like 10 hand size towels this is for the labor too um it's really helpful to have honey on hand because it gives mom a boost of energy or anybody else that's at the birth i have honey sticks for my doula clients in my doula bag and that has always come in handy like somebody's eating a honey stick at some point in the labor and normally it's me and the family that i'm attending so i know that it's really helpful so i got one new jar of honey another thing for energy is electrolyte water that i'll have here and some electrolyte drink mixes um this one is ultima and halo this is a natural alternative to a stool softener it's just traditional medicinals it's like a natural laxative I think drinking this tea will help me in those first days. At least it'll ease my mind. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added color. this time so we don't have like a bunch of blankets and a bunch of burp cloths and a bunch of you know all of these extra things we're just trying to keep it down to what we really need and of course if i need more from here i'll just order more but um the goal is to really just keep things minimal minimal laundry minimal clutter easy access i'm going to do a quick little walkthrough of what i have going on over here the first um tier is just our diapering stuff. So right now it's just filled with newborn diapers. It's crazy. Um, a pack of wipes. We'll have anything else for like diapering, discomfort. The bum bum that I make for the baby will be up here. And then there's also room at the top. So I'll be able to have like my water like on the other side or like anything I need in the middle of the night. Um, so we'll have uh, some swaddles here and this is mainly for when we go out into the living room in the morning. Jared will be working remote from our bedroom so I want to just be able to give him space and not have to like keep coming in the room. Um, so I'll have some like immediate things like onesies, a couple outfits, and some swaddles um, right on this middle rack. And then this is my separate little basket so I'm going to keep the Sally baby wrap in here. Um, just some like postpartum things. I'll keep breast pads in here, any nipple bomb that I make, um, some extra postpartum things like underwear, TMI, um, and then I also have some burp cloths, but that'll be going on the baby side. Whoa, my big belly. Ooh, right down here I have my breast pump and all the parts that I haven't like sterilized or anything yet, but I'll probably just keep the pump on the cart. 
Um, and then I can just roll it back in here at the end of the night. And we're good to go. So I'm gonna end this video here. This has been like two weeks of filming. So I'm so just soaking in these last days pregnant. I have not been able to focus on a lot of things. I've just been like getting stuff done. Just been trying to like really listen to my body and what I need and haven't been like creating as much. Have just been like feeling into different things and just enjoying it and trying not to stress out about the little things and just really be present with how I'm feeling. So some things have been put on the back burner like filming. So this weekend will bring making padsicles, nipple balm, and freezer meals. I have a feeling that baby will be making their debut around the full moon this month in May. I could be off, but I'm due in 10 days. So we have a very, very big chance that baby's coming soon, like within the next five days or so, if my prediction is correct. It may not be. Um, but yeah, I'm just feeling really grateful and excited and ready for this birth experience. And I thank you guys all for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.